everything, you know, this person, yeah. this person has has some good information. Check them out, hit them up, or not. Kind of like he almost wants to get the credit for for, for what for what you did, almost. Yes, and I wouldn't be surprised. That's pale supremacy. Are you familiar with my pale supremacy definition? No, but I know oh. I know I know something about pale though. Yes, but I have a pale supremacy definition, uh, which was discussed. Um, I think it's on this chatbot GPT uh, interview, or no, it was with white work. That's where it was. It was with white work. So I'm going to pull up the pale supremacy definition. Uh, if you could be so agreeable as to put your um, email in the chat. Sa, uh, do you have um, Israel's uh, email? Yes, I do. And I just had my hand up to remind you that he was the one who uh, told me about Christopher Hauser using your document in the Telegram group, but I see you all are getting to this now. So if you have his email, can you send him pale supremacy, please? Oh, sure, sure. Yes. So while he's, while uh, Saw's doing that, I'm going to do this. <clears throat> and um, I think it was mutant supremacy is actually what I gave. Um, uh, what's their names? Um, MIT. Yeah, this is the executive board. Is it? No. Um, who's this? Which executive board is this? Okay, so that's American Psychological Association. Okay, so here it is. So this is the updated, because I've changed it. I have a, still have another one I have to, I have to start updating because as we go further and deeper into the English language and we get into definitions, then we're making it even more sharp. So this guy here, his, he's Ralph Swick. He's one of the, um, uh, from uh, MIT, actual MIT. So I sent him the uh, pale supremacy definition. Make sure there we go. So this is their, this is just the summary I'm going to speak in the mission statement. So racism equals leper supremacy summary and mission statement. Racism equals leper supremacy is the local, national, international, global, solar system, galaxy, matrix, 3D holographic, illusionary, computer, electrical, computer, electrical, science, commercial, economic, entertainment, educational, military, industrial, power system, construct, and dynamic, structured and maintained by lepers, albinos, albinism, Neanderthals, Tamahu, genetically recessive beings in association with other non-planetary, multidimensional, and interplanetary entities for the ultimate purpose of lepers, albinism, albinos, Neanderthals, Tamahu genetic survival, and to prevent leper genetic annihilation on the planet called Earth. The correct syntax is Tiamat, Ta, Zurukaya, and Kai. Note the Tamahu cannot find peace on Tiamat, for they are the sons of Canaan, and Azazel had made his home originally on Titan, the planet of Saturn, for he is not of this planet, an extraterrestrial. <clears throat> now we're seeing where people are saying they're seeing shapeshifters, they're seeing all sorts. One uh, black guy, that's the hot thing now on TikTok, the black guy that had the conversation with a shaggy. We know them as the shaggies or the, um, um, the what people call in English the Bigfoot. So a copy of this was sent to the whole board at MIT. It's W3C is actually the organization. They set the programming protocols for everything on the planet. So when this was sent, his response was that 
Um, I do not find an error within the scope. I do not find an error in the materials. Here it is. I do not find a programming error in your material that is within the scope of W3C to address. However, if you watched the chatbot GPT interview that I did, the computer fully comprehended what I was saying, correct? Yes. So who's who is either lying or who is having what they call cognitive dissonance? <clears throat> the Amorites have, were given, this is what the deal, I'll tell you what the original contract was. Amorites, pale people, you call them Caucasians, um, white people, whatever. Um, they were given 6,000 years to rule. Their 6,000 years is up. So this is where the cognitive dissonance comes into play. Because now they have to accept the fact that they are actually created. That's what Tamahu is created. They're not original people. They're genetically recessive. So uh, as I spoke to you, I gave you the, the mission statement in this, and then the synopsis. So I'm going to go back to here where it talked about in association with other non-planetary, multidimensional, and interplanetary entities, whether consciously or subconsciously determined, which consists of patterns. Uh, hold on a second here. There we go which consists of patterns of syntax, mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, perception, logic, symbol formation, thoughts, speech, action, spiritual, mental, temporal, energy, definition, code, language, tone, vibration, frequency, sound, light, resonance, motion, and emotional response as conducted simultaneously in all areas of people, sick, contracts, commerce, and commercial activity, economics, education, commerce, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, military, industry, sports, science, medicine, sex, and war, for the ultimate purpose of lepers, albinos, albinism, Neanderthals, Tamahu, misnomer, white, Caucasian, genetic survival, and to prevent lepers, misnomer, white, Caucasian, genetic annihilation. And you can also include European in that, which, and they're not the original Europeans. The Holy Tablets, chapter six, tablet six, verse 284 to 304. And with this link here, University of Texas, Houston geneticist, Jin Lee, who spearheaded the genetic study said, by analyzing the data, you can clearly see the majority of the gene pools in China were from Africa. We could not find any evidence that is consistent with the hypothesis of independent origin in China. Genetic findings support out of Africa theory. So all the races come from us. So when we go back now to this guy, and this is the problem I have with him, Russell J. Gould, Anna Von Wright, all these Amorites who are talking about common law. Issue I have with him, Christopher Hauser, I don't know the guy. This is the first that I've seen his stuff. But the fact, if I go back to July 9th, <clears throat> where he used... Um, My UPR report, I have, uh, you know, I take offense to that, that he's using that. And what's also interesting is him using Bouvier, uh, the um, Zodiac Constitution. Now, what a lot of Moors do not know is that when Janet Reno, who was the Attorney General for the United States, 
apparently there was an issue that had came up and CMB had tried to use um, um, the Zodiac Constitution in a U.S. court. So Janet Reno, this is the story I was told, told him um, Zodiac means animal circle. You do know that, right? So what does an animal circle have to do with a vessel or a uh, area that's in dry dock or a commercial court? What does the animal circle have to do with that? Nothing. So therefore, why would Moors use, oh, the Zodiac Constitution? Mm -hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with the commercial aspect and the contracts associated with that. There's nothing about this that would knock out or nullify the 1871 DC Act, which is when the United States of America was incorporated and became the United States. Now, as people can see underneath here, you see Atsakata Nation. Now, I don't know which link he got this from. That's the next thing, because I had to do a video. Uh, did you see the video with um, uh, Gatti Boy? No, oh, I, did, I did not. Looks like I need to check it out. Okay. Uh, so first thing is you need to sign up to my YouTube channel. So you need to subscribe. We know it's way more than that. And it'll definitely. So what I'm going to do here for you is I'm going to put the link for the Gatti boy in here as well as for the benefit of those who came in as well. And he didn't reveal who wrote that. So what these Amorites are realizing now, Israel, is that when they talk about being a free man on the land, they have to know what the original name of the land is. Like it's nobody, if you own land, nobody could come in your backyard and build a house and say this is their land in your backyard. Without talk, they have to talk to you. They got to get permission. If you say no, they can't build. So on this one here, I'm just going to play a few minutes here. So you can see this is Gatti Boy. And this is uh, now fact 235. Timta, <laughs> Makushil Atsakata Amshil Yamasi Nuwabiana Wahaza Kalun Hasahag Atnid Maya Taladin Chasad. Greetings. I'm Plenty Potentiary of Earth, Chief Nanyushabu El of the Atsakata Nation of Yamasi Moors, and this is now fact number 235. Get in here, get in here, get in here. This is brought to you courtesy of Gatti Boy on TikTok. So we're going to play his video where he has a 2010 UPR report from the United Nations that I uh, did on behalf of our nation, Atsakata Nation, the Yamasee Moors. And he's talking about they tried to hide it, which I agree with, but I found it. I'm the one who did the report. Got it uploaded back in 2010. And he's not mentioning my appellation. My appellation is at the top of the document. This is internationally recognized for 14 years. So we'll, we'll play the video and then we're going to break him down. Man, get in here, get in here, get in here. You know I reveal a lot of secrets. But this has to be one of the best secrets I ever revealed. No, you didn't reveal a secret because this has been on the internet for years. This has been on the internet for years, Gassy Boy. For years. Where you been? It's been out there for 14 years. This is older than TikTok. So it turns out George Bush, the United Nations, and the Yamasi had went to court, right? Show the court case. You're talking, show your evidence, show your facts, show your forensic evidence, you're talking. Literally went to court. And I have two documents, this one, I have another one to show you, that who all went on a trail of tears. And wait till you read it. 
This one document, let me walk the way, screenshot it, please. Screenshot it. Notice it's too tiny to screenshot. For some reason, I'm on full screen. No problem. I'm going to be showing you all the original document. I am the source of the UPR report on the United States of America, America back in 2010. He doesn't have that. He's using somebody else's site. And here goes the other document. But when you read it, it's the same document. So it's the same UPR report. There are five pages for inputs, questionnaires, and UPR reports, otherwise known as shadow reports. Guess who I went on the trail of tears with us? To Oklahoma. Let's get a little closer, but take a screenshot. Now, I took a close up. Why don't you mention who wrote this report, Gatty Boy? Instead, you're just talking about the document and omitting the author. That's not proper research. That's called withholding, obfuscation, suppression. Went on a trail of tears to Oklahoma. The Olmecs went with us? What? The Moors went with us? What? And as you can see, the U.S. Constitutional Bill. Yes, this is a bill. Uh, Presidential Order 13107. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's the implementation of human rights treaties. And that was uh, signed by Bill Clinton when he was president at the time. My, the Omex, they all was part of the Mississippian culture. So who is these people claiming to be us over there and here? And when you read it, we the only one went on the trail of tears. It wasn't nobody else. When you read it, it's about to blow your mind. This is about to blow your mind. This is like one of the biggest secrets to ever hit your page. And it's not a secret. It's my UPR report I did for our nation, Asakata Nation and Yamasi Moors. But he's, again, not describing who is the author. He's not discussing that. He's talking about the document. Who wrote this? I did. Is he saying that? No. So how is that revelation and a secret he revealed like he got something special? He doesn't. I'm the one that wrote it, and I have the documentation and the verification from the United Nations, U.S. State Department, because they get a copy of this. So the United States government recognizes Asakata Nation and Yamasi Moors at the U.S. State Department. You can see right here at the bottom, it says Dred Scott, no descent of African. Did you no. see? It says no descendant of Africans can be a citizen of the United States of America because that's not the way the Constitution was framed. The Constitution is for white people and the word white is defined by the U.S. Department of Education, CDC, or Crow, National Institute of Health, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East or North Africa, American Indian or Alaska Native is a person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America, which includes the Caribbean, and who maintains tribal affiliation and community attachment. So he's cutting out information and not giving you all full disclosure. Come on, Gaffy boy. Okay. Do you see? All oh, this is us from our traditional lands. Oh, you gotta read this. You gotta read everything. This is the first time you about to see this document. No, but that's a lie. <laughs> that's my document, and we published that going all the way back from 2010 up to now. They didn't want to let it come out, right? And this is why, because they said that a lot of people's lives be in danger, right? Like the civil rights leaders, the one that lied to us. No, there's nobody's life in danger. The document has been out for years. It's been on the internet. Like the historians, the one that lied to us. Like all these civil societies, and we ever find out what you're doing now that all these Indians now doesn't make sense 
if I asked you where your grandma was from, everybody would sit down south, down south, because African American is a patented meat and processed food. So you got to correct the syntax on that. I understand for the purposes of this TikTok and the discussion. However, they have to claim their indigenous heritage. They have to get white. If they don't do that, they have no standing at law. 41.57 million African Americans, we're in Africa. Don't know. So therefore, they got to change that. Because we're the one that went on a trail of tears. Wow. So if you like to donate, I greatly appreciate it. Don't be donating to Gathy Boy and you ain't giving full disclosure. So you had your fun, Gathy Boy. Now, this is the desert, as Morpheus said, of the real. Let's see where we want to start here. Let's start here. Here is the actual document. As you can see here in the web link, this is the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights.org in Geneva, Switzerland. This is the document that I did, which is called the Universal Periodic Review Submission regarding the United States of America. So in part one in the background, it talks about our nation, Atsakata Nation of Yamasee Moors is an indigenous nation as defined by Presidential Proclamation 7500, C letter to US President George Bush published here. Because I wrote the President George W. Bush back in 2005. And recognized as such, this is Atsakata Nation, is recognized as such by the various instrumentalities of the United States, federal court, in the Middle District of North Carolina, which includes the United States of America, see U.S. Secretary of State document 0602144-3 out of five that were authenticated on May 22nd, 2006. I know because I was there. United States Code. Title 28 U.S.C. Section 1360, which means state jurisdiction in civil matters involving Indians, and there's only about six states that do have it, the rest don't, and whose land includes, but is not limited to, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Florida, and Tennessee. We are the indigenous peoples of the aforementioned lands with the geographic coordinates. Now, when he went to paragraph Number two, the 1750 Yamasee uprising and the Trail of Tears is a historical event which has been acknowledged by the U.S. Congress passing the following resolution, HJR3 or HJ3IH, which is under the Indian Health Care Act. That's the apology to Native Americans and American Indians. So why would the U.S. government apologize to Native Americans and American Indians? Because they're not the same people. Meditate on that. HR 194 and S. Congress 26, both of those are apologies to African Americans. By the U.S. Congress and the Senate is the S. Congress 26. Those two show that the U.S. government acknowledged we robbed African Americans of their names and their heritage because they knew that after so called African Americans were actually the indigenous Native Americans here, the copper colored races. That's why that's what America means. The 1928, pardon me, 1828 dictionary uh, that African American, uh, pardon me, American is the copper colored races found in America, in which the US federal government, under the command of US President Andrew Jackson, rounded up our people, be they Yamasi, Kachiti, Choctaw, Cherokee, Moor. Olmec, Seminole, Yuchi, Washita, and forced them to walk west to Oklahoma, away from the traditional lands which were illegally and unlawfully usurped by the United States. He's not telling you that. Now we'll go down to number four, the 1857 U.S. Supreme Court, Sanford versus Scott, known as the Dred Scott decision, which has never been overturned has made it clear that no descendant of Africans can be a citizen of the United States of America. Like I told you earlier, the Constitution is for white people, and the white is defined as a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East or North Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, Niger, Somali, Ethiopia, all of those are North Africa, Morocco, Algeria, all of those are Libya, all of those are North Africa. 
This current state of affairs leaves those descendants of Africans slash Moors who are unfamiliar with international law, the United Nations, second decade of the world's indigenous peoples, and the fact that they can now self-identify themselves as indigenous or tribal, the second decade ended in uh, 2015. Unable to have a nationality or the ability to identify and claim their indigenous heritage in accord with House Trump Resolution 194. So these are points that he didn't receive. Who's the author? Chief Nani Shabu El, Asakata Nation and Yamasi Moors. So he's supposed to talk about who was the author. Instead, he just went to the document and omitted me. And I appreciate that because that's why now I'm doing this video. Now, here's some evidence. As you can see here on Monday, October 7th, 2019, at 4.10, uh, 4.16 p.m., this is me forwarding a response I got from what? UPR Submissions, Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights on October 7th. 219, uh, pardon me, 2019 at 2.30 a.m. And so it says, Dear Nanya, we have uploaded your report. Best regards, UPR submissions. This is evidence. This is international acknowledgement. He doesn't have this. This is why he's doing the video, bits and pieces, donate to my cash app. Don't donate to his cash app. He's not giving you the facts. Acknowledge who the chief was who did that UPR report out of two we've done out of the three cycles of the universal periodic review we've done two so here as you can see is united nations human rights council so our nation is recognized because the universal periodic review that was done in the united states back in 2010 we're going to go down here to the first cycle When you go here and you see report of all the stakeholders, we'll click on English here. I already have it open, but I want to do it um, now so you can see. So you see report of the Human Rights Council on its 30th session. And we're going to scroll down here. And go to page, this one should be page 11. Oh, wrong one. Let's go here. No, that's page one, decision adopted. Okay, great. And that's 2015. Oh, that's the outcome review. Second cycle, where we outcome, first cycle. Where are they? There we go. So right here, as you see, I already have it highlighted. This is the summary of stakeholders information. So when we click on English, this is what we're going to get. We're going to go, this is 19, so we'll go to page 14. I'm going to zoom in so you can see, unlike Gaffy Boy, who has you all squinting, so you can't even see anything. What do you see here? Yamasi. At Sikhata, Nation of Yamasi Moors, USA. And when we go back up to the top of this document, what are you going to see? General Assembly, October 14, 2010. Summary prepared by the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights in accordance with paragraph 15C of the Annex to Human Rights Council Resolution 5.1. This is on the United States of America. So this is an international legal document. This is done in Geneva, Switzerland on the 1st to the 12th of November, 2010, which is a working group on the Universal Periodic Review in their ninth session. So this is the first cycle. So that's 2010. Then we did another one on the third cycle in 2019. We're gonna click on that one. And for this one, uh, I gotta go to page um, 11. And what do you see here? On page 14, oh, page 11. Yeah, page 11. What do we see here? 
at Sekata Nation of Yamasee Moors, New York, United States of America. We're internationally recognized. Do you people understand that? So now you see that all this, that, um, what's his name, Christopher Hauser, let me put this back on the screen here. So Christopher Hauser has a lot of explaining to do because you can download the document, but he's not showing the web link. So I'm going to show you the web link because even the UN was hiding the work that I was doing. So if I go here. And where are you hiding? Okay. So if I go here and I put in um, update uh, at Cicada, they had taken it down. Um, they had taken it down. Um, uh, back in May, and then as soon as I put that up, uh, this is all the full web links. Uh, United Nations. Recognition, okay, proof is recognized by this 2023. Okay, June 15th. So I put that up in May, and then in June, um, they took it down. So I sent, uh, so this is Gatti Boy on TikTok, the video here, Contemporary Critical Thought in Africology and Africana. And hold on a second, what happened here? There we go. So our 2010 UPR report, See how they block me from showing y'all. So these are the links for the first and third cycles, which was in the video. And then um, our nation recognized as a stakeholder. And see when you click there, it says error page not found. So I had to redo um, a couple links. So as you can see, Israel, all of this is documented in that video. So when people from uh, Christopher Hauser see this, why is he using this document? Why is this even on his study group? If they're about facts, they're about truth because they don't have claim to the planet. That's why. Is that clear now? So I will put, um, okay, so the Gatti boy, maybe make sure you double click and bookmark on that video in the chat for Gatti boy. And um, I'm gonna put the UN link that I pulled up here. This it will be, um, where did I put this? Okay, racism, oh, leper supremacy. And then this one is, yes, the 2010. And I will put this up on your, on the screen so everyone can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pull up the 2010 UPR report. And that was, this was the original one in May. So some of those links do, don't work. So I'm gonna forward this to saw. Oh, hold on, I have your email. Um, where is it here? Yeah, so I'll forward it to you right now. Saw, don't worry about it, I'll forward it to him. And so please confirm.
Okay, so you've got that. And I've sent that to you. And I'm going to double check because I had to update it. So I did it in May and then June 14th. And so I'm sending you the QR code, uh, which reminds me I can copy this and I'll put this on his study group one time. I'll send him a direct message. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to put this so you all can see. Okay, so for I wonder if he blocked me. I, now all of a sudden I can't. Oh, I have to go here. Yeah. So once I go here. supposed to get a page that opens up that allows me to send him a text view profile okay add to contacts and now so I'm going to add him and I'm going to send him a direct message and so now we have this recorded so now he has my QR code. So when you click on the QR code, it'll take you to confirmation that Atsakata is recognized. All right. Anything else, Israel? You had uh, mentioned Anna earlier. Did you know that, that she had just lost a, a lawsuit to the U.S. for $1.2 a couple months ago? Oh, she did, did she? Yes. Well, I've been here. This is just to go. I'm glad you brought this up. This has been a great moment. Uh, I sent an email to Anna Von Wrights years ago. I gave her notice. Let's look at it, shall we? So as you can see here, May 3rd, 2018, I emailed Anna Von Wrights, who wrote the book, How I Clobbered Every Corporation Out There. So if you got that information about her losing that lawsuit, could you please email me that? I was just about to do it. I was, I was about to get I'm, I'm about Yes, to, uh, go right ahead. We recording. That's going to put all these knuckleheads out. So I emailed her. On May 3rd, 2018, at 3.07 p.m., an email that I had sent originally to the Vatican. And uh, so I gave this uh, uh, to her, to her attention, knowledge of Atlantean existence and universal public notice for John Hunter of Legatus. And Legatus is a, is a department of the Vatican. So I sent that to her. So my open letter, an international promissory note to Pope Francis I, nobody said anything. Um, the Vatican Holy See treaties, which I did, nobody said anything, which Anna didn't. And so here's my letter to her, to Anna Von Wrights. And here at last is the real problem, May 3rd, 2018. I shall point, post this message to you, Anna Von Wrights, as well as your co-business partners, associates, and affiliates on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. And I will forward this email to you as reminder that you and those who fly the American civil flag are on Turtle Island, Atlan, Mulan. This is the appellation of the land that you are on you are not white, you are lepers. See leper supremacy definition, which I, leper supremacy, then we updated it to mutant. All of this sovereignty, all of you sovereignty people need to start telling the truth if you can. You are not white, you are lepers. You are not the first people on the planet and you, Anna Von Wrights, are not 
the descendants of the first people on the planet. As you can see, my liens, claims, etc., precede yours, and the Vatican is fully aware. These people, Israel, are watching me post my liens and my commercial documents, and they're copying it, and then saying, oh, someone filed a lien on the treasury. Somebody did this. Somebody, they filed, they got the blueprint from me. They didn't come up with that originally. They and the corporations connected to the Holy See are on our land, known internationally as Turtle Island, Atlan, Mulan, Land of the Frogs, Egypt of the West. These said corporations and their principles are conducting genocide, apartheid, trafficking in human cargo, puff daddy, etc., and have not compensated our nation at Sakata Nation and Yamasee Moors for the crimes commercial and otherwise they have done to us. Compensation, restitution, and tort damage, punitive and cumulative, are due now. Do not hesitate to contact me as to what you are willing to offer in order to stay on Turtle Island. You think that's why she lost the court case just a couple months ago? I don't know why she lost, but my thing is, is how are you how are you getting that type of money, but none of your followers are getting nothing. And then, and then I know, I know. I hold know on, hold on. Let's let's go back. We're missing the question here. I just showed you an email to Anna Von Wrights. You told me she just lost the case a couple of months ago, right? Yes. So with the what I am speaking mm -hmm. on the this email that I sent to her, she has this. Do you think that? The government saw this and realized, like, no, she can't do none of this stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so she, she she's kind of like copying, but not she don't have the sauce. So she's doing. She she's don't. Doing she she don't have the authority because they all keep saying they're sovereign. Mm -hmm. So all my claims are here. The me voiding the papal bull. My email to the Vatican. It's all there. Anna von Wrights has this. She never responded. So I'm gonna forward this to you. So now you have it. So anyone you see talking about, oh, Anna Von writes this, that. So she knew since 2018. And what she did was behind what I did. And please confirm that you're getting the emails. I don't want to, um, yeah, yeah, I don't, don't want to think that you're getting them. And then find out you're not. That's the game they love to play. Try to make it bigger. Make sure this goes well. So isn't it interesting? So first, Christopher Hauser, and then Anna Von Wrights. I am getting the emails. Let me forward this, this to right. myself at this point. And so now you have permission that if you see anyone from the study groups and they start, you got start getting emails, now you get to hit them up and say, yo, this dude, <laughs> dude, this chief went and contacted Anna Von Wrights. And she ain't said nothing from that was like 2018. Y'all got to get in touch with the chief. So when you hit her off like that, or whomever, Chris Powers or his study group, when they don't respond, you'll understand what it is. Pale supremacy. They don't want, they don't, they cannot, they cannot fathom existence without them being in control or calling the shots. Overstood? Overstood. All right. Anything else? I'm I'm about to send this uh this document to you with the uh, this court case so so you could uh see this stuff first first hand. Oh, all right. See, see most, most of them don't, don't even know the US was dissolved, dissolved back in 2021. So they still fighting to stay on the land. Which, which is not theirs, which they have, they're not entitled to, thanks to the NASA astronaut Clark McClellan. So you go ahead and do that. Are oh, you attaching it right now? It looks like the attachment isn't going through. Is it okay if I just take a picture of it? Would that, would that still suffice? You, you can, can take, take a picture of her. Are you, you on, on Telegram? I'm on my email because somebody actually sent it to me. So, but it's like when I when I'm trying You're to send email? it. Okay. okay, 
track, send it to, send it, forward it, just click forward and send it to um, uh, T-A-F-U-L-A-A-T, T-A-F-U-L-A-A-T at gmail.com. And you can still take a picture and, and, and you have my phone number, right? Yes. Yeah, so you can still take a picture and send it to me via uh, text. I'm gonna I'm I'm try both both ways just because you you got you got to see this to to believe it you know. Oh, I know what's going on. All of those black, all of those Amorite, well, they're black people. They're all those black uh, people are going to get exposed as not being able to explain how are you going to talk about freedom and not talk about the original people that was here first on the planet. So that means they're only talking about their freedom. They ain't talking about your freedom. This is what I put across to you all. They're not interested in that because it's an economic loss that's going to happen. So you said it yet? I sent, I, I sent it. <coughs> Hopefully you, you got it. Now this and this where you it? You sent it to Tavalat? I sent it to the email that you had sent to me. It is... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I don't I don't jack up the uh, the spelling of it. Uh, uh, it's the at at sikhada ym at gmail. Yes. It. So it should it should pop up. So oh, at sikhada. Okay, hold on. I gotta go in there. I was sending you from Kemet nineteen. Um, the at sikhada was the ones that my wife saw was sending from. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the screen now. Anna yeah. Bond writes. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh... I, hope, I hope it went through. Yeah, it went through. There's supposed to be a file attached? Yes, if it didn't go through, you might you might have to wait till the other one with the picture goes through. Or I'm, There's I'm no gonna... file. Yeah, this, there's no file attached here. Okay. That's, that was the problem that I was having when I was when I was trying to send it. That's why I had uh, created the picture. Let me see if I could. Well, what find you can do is what you can do is download that onto your computer and then re-upload it and resend it to me. And in the meantime, if you've sent the um picture, Let's see what it's okay this stuff just comes okay judgment and it's still action. Uh, what's the date? Oh, Alaska. Um, June fifth. Okay. So she lost one million. She so she lost that lawsuit. One point two million dollars plus statutory interest and additions accruing after May tenth, twenty twenty four. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. If she if she knew the US was dissolved, maybe she would have did something different. But do you see my point now? Yes. So all that stuff she was talking about, but I've communicated with her in 2018. So she don't have a leg to stand on. All right. All right. So yes, you got the emails, send them off to them. I'm appreciative of that. I'll see if Christopher Hauser responds. He's next. All white, the chicken door, white power. White power. <laughs>